Good evening from Wicomico County, where it's no shave November. It's showtime. Okay, if you have heard by now of No Shave November, but you're still not clear on the entire concept of what it is, the month-long effort last year raised over one and three quarters million dollars. It is Monday afternoon, and back with Most Wanted Monday is Lieutenant Tim Robinson with the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office, the man who himself appears to be standing too far away from his razor. So yeah, yeah. what are you guys doing with No Shave November? Oh, we're doing it too. I believe this is the fourth year we've done this. And every year we raise money and we try to give it to something local. This year we are raising money again for the American Cancer Association. And we are going to give it to a local charity that works with them. And and the way that works for you is you can't have facial hair. Is that right? Uh, normally by our policy in uniform, we cannot have facial hair. Um, we do have to be clean shaven. For any deputy who makes a donation to the cause, the uh, the policy that they have to shave every day is waived, and they can grow uh, a must they can grow a mustache, goatee, beard, whatever they want to do. Okay, can't wait till I see the handlebar mustache on you. Anyway, let's get to this list of fugitives that you've brought in for us. Let's talk about Cornelius Daryl Brunson. Well, Cornelius Brunson, uh, we believe him to still be right here in the area. We have an address for him in Nanticoke. We have gotten some information that he may have moved up to the state of Pennsylvania. He's wanted by the sheriff's office on a circuit court bench warrant that's issued when he did not make an appearance this past winter to answer the charges of CDS possession with the intent to distribute. All right, this is John James Church the third. John James Church, we believe him to be right here in Salisbury still. And he's wanted by the sheriff's office on a circuit court bench warrant that was issued this past spring after he violated the terms of his probation in a case where he'd already been convicted of theft. Tell us who George Merrill Collins is. He's 49 years old. We have addresses for him in Salisbury, Del Mar. Uh, we also know he has a location down in Eden. If Anybody knows where he is, he's wanted by the sheriff's office on a district court bench warrant that was just issued last month when he did not make an appearance in the court to answer the uh, answer charges um, consistent with uh, unauthorized uh, use of a motor vehicle. So if anybody knows where George Collins is, just pick up the phone to give crime solvers a ring. Take a good look at Robert William Conaway. He's 28 years old. We believe him to have an address in the Eden area. And he's wanted by the sheriff's office on a district court bench warrant that was just issued last month after he violated the terms of his probation in a case where he'd already been convicted of theft, vandalism, and rogue and vagabond, which is the uh, charge that's levied against you when you're caught breaking into vehicles. Do you recognize Charles Albert Hare the third? Charles Hare, he's 41 years old. We believe him to still be in Salisbury still. And he's wanted by the sheriff's office on a circuit court bench warrant that was issued last winter in a case where he already violated the terms of his probation following a conviction in a felony theft case. So if anybody knows where Charles Hare is, we've profiled him before. Uh, we have gotten some tips. We just haven't closed in. So please call Crime Solvers and report his location. And last but not least, you're really wanting to get your hands on this guy, Lionel Washington yeah. Jones. Yeah, Lionel Washington Jones, I want all your viewers to take a close look at this guy. He's 49 years old. He has an address down on the Eastern Shore of Virginia, down in Painter. And Mr. Jones is a registered sex offender, and he's been wanted He's wanted by the sheriff's office on a circuit court bench warrant that was issued this over the summer for violating the terms of his probation in a case where he'd already been convicted of rape in the second degree and sex offense. So if anybody knows where Lionel Jones is, please pick up the phone and immediately call Crime Solvers. Even if he is on the West Coast, even if he's down in the Southwest, does not matter. Call, report his location so we can get him brought back to Wicomico County. 410-548-1776. And his operators are standing by right now. Lieutenant Tim Robinson, Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Thank you for what you do. It's good talking to you today. That's great. Thank you for having me here today.